हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट epiphrenic diverticula so what is this epiphrenic diverticula actually this epiphrenic epi is above and phrenic is diaphragm so here the diverticula is present just above the diaphragm so this is called has epiphrenic diverticulum so this epiphrenic diverticulum is found adjacent to the diaphragm and it is present mainly in the distal one third of the esophagus that too it is present within 1 cent 10 cm within the gastroesophageal junction so this is present within 10 cm of gastroesophageal junction and thus it is present in the distal third of esophagus this occurs mainly due to the thickened distal esophageal musculature or it can occur due to an increased intraluminal pressure so this epiphrenic diverticula is also a pulsion diverticula where there is only outpouching of mucosa and submucosa is seen whereas the muscularis propria is normal so here there is only outpouching of mucosa and submucosa is seen so this is a pulsion diverticula which is seen or false diverticula and this is associated with and this is actually associated with uh, diffuse esophageal spasm achalasia or it is associated with most commonly non specific esophageal motility or it is associated with non specific esophageal motility so it is motility disorders so it is mainly associated with diffuse esophageal spasm achalasia cardia or it is associated with a uh, non specific esophageal motility disorders mainly then this epiphrenic diverticula is also see if the if a motility disorder is not identified then even it is associated with either a congenital malformation like heller danlos syndrome or traumatic cause can also be uh, found out in this uh, epiphrenic diverticula and this epiphrenic diverticula is most commonly seen on the right side and it is also wide mouth diverticula is seen in epiphrenic diverticula thank you and thank you for watching